A personal web page or a blog nowadays became the business card. It's always better to show what you can do instead of just telling this. So having a blog is not the worst idea one can have. And there are many ways to create a blog. Why should we use R and distill package then? Well, because it's easy, quick and free way to go online today. You only need four things for this. R, R Studio, GitHub account and Netlify account. So in this video you'll learn how to create and continuously deploy your blog from R Studio. Let's get straight into it. First, let's open R Studio and install two packages. This still package for creating the blog or website and use this package for automation of some tricky tasks. Then go to File, choose New Project, New Directory and scroll down to the still blog. Directory name will be the name of the folder where all the documents from your blog will be stored. Choose the directory where this folder is supposed to be stored. In my case it was desktop. Give your blog a name, you'll be able to rename it later and click create project. A new RStudio window with newly created files and folders, right bottom corner, will open itself. One of the folders, underscore posts, will contain all your posts. There are already some examples of it, but don't bother about it now. Find the build button and press build website. Your block will be created and opened in a new window. Click Open in Browser and explore your website. Here you'll find a single blog post you already have on your blog, a Home button and About button where you describe your blog. You also could have created your blog with one line of code where you have the Distill package, you have the Create Blog function, you have a directory name and the title of your blog. But since we just created the blog, we don't need to do it one more time. Instead, let's run use git command. This will create a local git repository on our computer. We'll also get two questions where we want to commit the changes, we say no, and whether we want to restart our studio in order to activate the git button, we say yes. After restart, you'll see a new git button appear between the build and tutorial buttons. Click on it and you'll see empty boxes under staged, lots of yellow question marks under status and some file names under path. Now we have to stage and commit. For this, check all the empty boxes and press commit button. A colorful new window will pop up. This window describes all the changes you are about to make to your blog. Find the commit message box, describe what changes you have made to your blog, for example first commit, because then you'll always be able to get back to the previous version in case something stops working. That's what they call a version control. Press commit. Wait until you see the close button and close git commit. Then forget the rest and go back to our studio. In there, run use github command in order to connect a local repository to github. A new repository will be automatically created on your github profile and a new browser window with your github will pop up. There you will find your first commit message and all the files which you already have in your R studio. So we already have created our blog, we already have created a GitHub repository and connected to the GitHub, but we aren't online yet. For this, we have to go to the Netlify webpage. Log in to the Netlify or sign up if you don't have an account. You can do it with email or an existing GitHub profile. I have done this with email because it was so convenient. Then we'll see our project which we already created last time. Better name. We click a green box New Site from Git. Find Continuous Deployment and press GitHub. Choose a newly created repository. Then find Publish Directory and fill it with underscore site, which contains all the information about our blog. Click Deploy. Wait a moment till the Production tab produces green colored Published and you'll get a funny named website in the left top corner. 
click on it. Congrats, you are online. Enjoy the moment. Then go back to Netlify though, click Site Settings, change site name and give your site a new amazing name. Hit Save. Click on the amazing name.netlify.app to make sure the name has changed and the site is still working. Then go back to our studio and populate your blog with new blog posts. For this, run the following line of code. You have a distill package, you have a create post function and only the name of the function as a single argument. And you, partly pre-filled, our Markdown document will open itself in our studio. Fill it with some text and code, as you usually do with our Markdown documents, and hit Neat. A new article on your blog will be created. However, this article exists only on your local computer, still not online. Thus, go to the Git button in our studio and check all the boxes. Press Commit. A new window will pop up. Describe your commit and press commit one more time. Wait until you see the close button and close git commit pop up window. Press push. Pushing will transfer changes in your blog from your local computer to a remote place, namely your GitHub repository. And since your GitHub repository is connected to Netlify, these changes will be online after successful push. Wait until you see the close button and close git push window. Close or ignore the other pop-up window. Get back to your amazing blog and refresh. You should see a new blog post. Congratulations, you now continuously deploy your online blog. Click on your post and enjoy your creative work for a moment. Then go back to our studio and create more posts with following routine. Create or change posts, need commit and push. You don't need to commit and push every change, all important ones. Think of this process as really saving the progress you made on your blog. Sometimes if you are very productive, you produce several blog posts and you produce a lot of changes in every of them, so that the number of changes can be really high and you don't want to check all the boxes manually. There is a small trick how to automate this process. If you go to terminal and write git at minus big A, then you can check only one box and all the other boxes will be checked automatically. After it, you write a message, commit and push. This is how my blog created with the steel package and GitHub looks like. The link to it is in the description below. In this article, you'll find a step-by-step -step description of the whole blog creation process and much more useful info and links. For instance, you can customize the appearance of your blog as you wish. So, I hope it was useful. If you like this video and want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.